Oh no. Pieces of the $50 note are missing. I need your help to find them. The pieces are somewhere around this house. When you find each piece, come back here, click on the picture, and place the piece in its correct location. I will then tell you a little about why the picture on that piece is important to the man on the note. David Unipon. God blessed David with many gifts and talents. He wrote poetry and authored a number of books. For 50 years he traveled southeastern Australia, combining his work with lectures and sermons in churches and cathedrals. He continued to preach until he was 87 years old. David was the son of James and Nimbulda. David's father was brought up living a traditional Aboriginal life and included male initiation ceremonies and tribal warfare. It was during a tribal fight that he lost the sight in one eye. James's life was dramatically changed when he was 26 years old. He became a follower of Jesus. He was the first Christian convert in his tribe. In 1909, David patented an improved hand tool for sheep shearing, which is featured on the $50 note. Other inventions included a centrifugal motor, a multi-radial wheel, and a mechanical propulsion device. He was unable, however, to get financial backing to develop his ideas. The quote on the $50 note says, As a full-blooded member of my race, I think I may claim to be the first, but I hope not the last, to produce an enduring record of our customs, beliefs, and imaginings. <laughs>